guys, it's Liz, and today I thought I would show you my August favorites. I know I'm really late on this, but I just got a computer. It's a laptop. It's the Mac. No, I did not pay for it. I'm so sad about that because I'm one of those people I need to pay someone. Um, but, or at least for half of it or some of it. But I got this for school anyways, so my laptop case is spec if you're wondering. It's blue because I really like the color blue now. Why I told you I got a new computer is because all my videos are saved on the um, desktop, on my family's desktop. I can't transfer them without Mac, the Apple Store. I'm sorry, my dog's making weird noise back there. Um, without them wiping out all of my stuff I already have saved on my Apple. And I only had it for one night, and seriously, like, everything's already saved on it. It's amazing, like, how much I could do in one night. So I got, like, a backup disc and stuff, but um, I still... You figure that out. So, um, I have like two videos of August favorites because I thought I didn't do one, so apparently I have two now. But I still have to do it, so I forgot most of my favorites, but I still um, have some. So, let's just get started, guys. So, the first favorite I have is a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese, which just looks like this. And then I describe it as metallic white color, pretty much, or shimmery. I, I see metallic because it's more metallic. Um, but I use this to brighten up, the, like, the inner corner. I'm not wearing makeup because I'm about to go at times, so I need to kind of hurry this up. But, um, I use this to brighten up the inner corners of my eyes, and it's been really working, and it looks really nice. I have tint by Benetton, and it's pretty much this, um, baby pink color. And it doesn't show up this vibrant when you put it on because it's just a little tint. Let me put more of that on. Um, yeah, I've been liking using this over a blush, I reply. So it's right there, that's the swatch. I've been liking using this over blush I apply because I feel like it's a refresher if I put too much powder on or if it, like my face feels dry. My face feels dry, I just put this on only my cheeks because you don't want it all over your face. Um, and it's like a really good refresher. And then I have um, Makeup Forever HD Foundation. And I'm in 118 if you guys are wondering. And this is a little tint of yellow which I really like because I have a little tint of yellow. My friends call me Asian sometimes, but you know, that's fine, because Asians are amazing. I love them. Anyways, so, um, yeah, looks like this. Covers super good. This is, like, my favorite foundation, because it covers amazingly. So, yeah, and you don't have to pack on that much concealer when you wear this, because it covers so good. My favorite eyeshadows of the month are probably um, these two Naked palettes by Urban Decay, Naked 1 and 2. And they're just so good. Now, the Naked 2 ranges for $50, so, hey, there's my camera. It's pretty expensive. But the colors, I'll focus it just for you guys. The colors are like freaking amazing and I love how they're all neutrals. Neutrals because it's like really nice because that's like all I really wear. And then Naked One is $48 unless they change the prices on these. But it just looks like that and I really like that. These are really, really good and definitely like recommend buying these. I never like heard someone say they don't like it. Maybe someone doesn't like it, but I never heard someone say they don't like it. It's amazing. And then the last two products are a Revlon Photo Ready Translucent Powder in 001. And, um, I didn't like this at first when I bought it because there's shimmers in it, but really you cannot see it unless you, like, go up this close to a person and like, hey, let me see your face. Um, like, you can't see it. So it's really good and it's really, like, good translucent powder. But if you put a ton of this on, you can see the sh um, shimmers. So if you want shimmers, put a ton of it on. If you don't, then don't put that much on. And then I have Maybelline New York Dream Bouncy Blush in oop, Pink Plum 40. And it just looks like this. And I've put this in my favorite videos before. And i just been using this again. There's a swatch of it. It's like a really light color, so I kind of have to pack it on. Because I got a little bit more tan over summer. I'm kind of losing it. But, you know, screw it. I don't really care about tans. Um, but, yeah, it just looks like that. I really like it. Creamy. And I like how it's not powdery. Creamy does, like, dry out my skin more because I have to rub it in more. That's why I like the posing tint because it gives a quick refresher. And that's why I pair these two up a lot. But, um, I do, um, I do like this a lot. So now for my Pandora station. This is a toy brush case if you guys want to. Um, my Pandora station this month has been Mumford and Sons like it was last month. Um, but my favorite song on there has changed. Um, it's anything by the Florence and... I mean, Florence and the Machine, they're so freaking good. I love them to. And then, um, Monsters and Men, A Little Talk is a really good song. Um, the only song I don't like by Florence and the Machine is Dog Days. I really don't like that song. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Yes, um, I guess I'll talk to you later. If you have any video requests, please leave comments below. I'm sorry, I'm kind of talking fast in the video, which is good, but then it's kind of bad because I don't have that much descriptive, but, like, it's shorter, which my videos have been longer, like, in the past two or three months, but I need to go, so, and play tennis, so I'll talk to you later, and bye!